it's not like I take anything for granted now about success and putting on an album and you know you hope for the best and I'm I'm very proud of this one I really feel like it's my best work Carrie took over an amusement park for a few days to make her debut as a music video director. We did most of it at Rye Playland, which is an amusement park in um, Westchester, New York. And um, we did shots on the roller coaster and uh, in the parking lot and on the boardwalk. And so that was fun. It's been about five years and 60 million record sales since Mariah Carey was discovered in the mid-80s. How is the Mariah Carey of today different from the Mariah Carey who put out her first album five years ago? Well, it was very overwhelming at that time, and it was this great anticipation for me. I mean, it was the first time I had ever, you know, I was, I was watching my dream happen and just so nervous about it and, um, you know, waiting to see what would happen. Superstardom happened and a marriage to Sony Music President Tommy Mottola and an enormous dream house out in the country. We're basically in there, mm -hmm. but it's, it's still under construction. So. It's been fun and a learning experience doing it, but it was a fun project to do together. Plans are in the works for the startup of her own label, but keep an eye out for her at your local amusement park. It's her favorite thing. I'll go and I'll wear a hat and glasses and, you know, I blend in. I mean, if I want to blend, I can blend. As her assistants on the video shoot found out, she's a roller coaster freak. I had the DP and the um, production, one of the production people on there with me. And I'm like, look, we can do a shot from the front. We can do it from the back. I can turn around. They're like, ah, get me off this. I'm like, what's the matter, guys? <laughs> it's nothing. On Mariah Carey's career roller coaster, it's been mostly all ups and no downs.